Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services Europe channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can download and install FileZilla FTP server running on Windows Server 2019. So let's just get started. So the very first thing that you need to do is that you need to download the FTP server. So for that, simply open up your favorite browser. I'm going to be opening up Microsoft Edge. Head over to google.com and search for FileZilla FTP server and then hit enter. And on this page, you're going to go over the official website of FileZilla, which is filezilla-project.org. And then you're going to simply click on this giant green button, which says download FileZilla server. And then you can go with the option that you want to go with. So you can go with the FileZilla server. You can go with the FileZilla with manual, but you need to purchase that. And then you have the FileZilla Pro, which is the enterprise server. You need to purchase that as well. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to go with the FileZilla basic server. So click on download and then wait for the downloading process to fully complete. Now once the downloading process is done, the next step is to actually install this FileZilla server. So open up the folder where you have downloaded the FileZilla server. Double click on the setup to get started. So at first you get this agreement, so simply click on I agree. And then you get the option that you want to install with your FileZilla server. So I'm just going to go with all of them including the server, the administration interface, the start menu shortcuts and the desktop icons as well. Then simply click on next. After that it is going to ask you for the destination folder. So I'm just going to go with the default destination folder which is C program files and then FileZilla server. So after that simply click on next. Then it is going to ask you whether you want to install this FileZilla as a service. So I'm going to go with the default which is install as service which would be started when the window starts up. And the default port is 14148 and then you need to provide a password for the administration panel. Once you do that you also need to retype that password to confirm it. After you have reconfirmed the password simply click on next. And then it asks you how the administration interface should be started. So I'm just going to go with start if user logs on and it applies to all the default users. So once that is done, simply click on this install button to actually begin the installation process. Now wait for the installation to fully complete. And once that is done, you will be given this SHA-256 certificate fingerprint. So you can write that down somewhere secure. Once that is done, you can go ahead and close this installation dialog box. And then this administration interface is going to open up on its own. If it does not, then worry not. If you go over to the desktop, now you have these three different icons for FileZilla. The very first is the administration panel. The second is to start the FileZilla server. And the third is to stop the FileZilla server. If you think that the FileZilla server is not booted up, so simply click on start FileZilla server. That is going to launch the services of FileZilla. Once that is done, you can head inside the management panel, which is the administration panel by simply double clicking on this icon. And then you need to click on connect to a FileZilla FTP server, which is going to ask you for the credentials. So it's hosted on the local host and the port number is 14148. And then you need to simply provide the password, which you had created while the installation process of this FileZilla. After that, simply click on OK. And then it is going to ask you to confirm this fingerprint that was shown to you after the installation. Once you recognize that fingerprint, simply click on yes, and you would be able to access the administration panel. Now, once you log in, you get this log on the screen. And if you want to simply add users or groups to FileZilla server, then you can do that by simply clicking on server and then click on configure. Now the hot key for this is control plus F. Now inside this configuration dialog box, you're going to head over to the users tab right over here. And then to add a new user, simply click on add and then add the details about the user. So give it a name and then give it a, some kind of password. So I'm just going to call this one as user1 and then I'm going to give it a password. Let's just go with admin. Then you can place this user in a new group as well. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to simply click on apply and then OK. Anyways, this is not a tutorial about on how to use FileZilla server. This was a tutorial on how to set up and install FileZilla which has been done. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So now if you want to deploy FileZilla FTP server on cloud hosted platforms such as Azure, AWS and GCP, then you can simply use the pre-built images for those particular platforms and the links to those images would be in the description box. So if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.